this lecture is code of professional ethics in the shield of quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enjoined upon his men to faithfully observe their trust with suitability and with full convenience the practice and professional the profession of all kinds of trust entrusted to those whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is his magnificent bounty has endowed with his skill and knowledge that every member of the professional of any kind of profession shall appreciate and shall have knowledge as to what constitutes his trust and covenant and that a set of dynamic principles derived from the holy quran shall guide his conduct in applying this knowledge for the benefit of the society or the humanity the following codes of ethics which i have presented in in front of you as a professional code of professional ethics is adapted from the holy quran or the verses of holy quran these are not all but i have chosen some for your kind attention that these are the code of professional ethics in the shade of holy quran number 1 allah in in surah 4.58 allah commands you us means you means commands us to give back the trust to those whom they are that a person should be trustworthy and whenever the the, the time comes for a judgment between the people we should do we should take the decisions with full justice without keeping in mind that who is who and who is mine and who is not mine allah admonishes you with with what is excellent which means that allah always gives you the excellent or the beautiful thing which is good as a behavior for the society for the people the second point which is an important for professional ethics is that a person in any kind of prof- of of a profession he should be giving full measures and weight justly which in other words it means that a person in all his capacity in whatever kind of profession he is he should not defraud the people he should not fool the people he should not make corruption in the land he should not make any mischief and he this means and this is written awful mikial awful mikial means the people should when they make measurement they should keep the the measurement in proper order this all this is a second injection for a professional professional uh, person in all his activities even he is a grocery man any kind of person who is doing business so it is a kind of a uh, reflection by allah subhanahu wa taala that he should be um, not be doing giving the right measures number 3 and let not hatred of a people incite you not to act equitably that means you should we should be just we should be uh, be making a quite justified and just measures when we are uh, observing our any kind of duty any kind of activity it may be social activity or especially at this moment here by the in the type type of professional ethics as a economic activity and the in the time of earning for the for the for the children for the benefit of the of his family he should not he should not what do what should not incite he should be equitable he should be deciding to decide e- equally and he should that is nearer to the observance of it if a person is doing equitable or with the doing his work just with with justified way then we will be getting the ajr for that number 4 is that a person is required code as a code of professional ethics that he should fulfill the obligations the treaties this is for individual and also for the collective behavior of the society one person or two or more than that as a person as a citizen or as a nation 
the people should fulfill the nation should fulfill the government should fulfill their obligation ya ayuhal ladina amanu awfu bil uqud so this also so gives us a code that how we should be observing our uh, uh, daily life number 5 is the and swallow not up your property among yourself by false means nor seek to gain access hereby thereby to judges la taakulu amwalakum bil batil and do not eat the property or the money by wrong means by false means by by fraud by telling lies and all those dirty tricks by which and especially the quran has used the word here and do not la taakulu amwalakum bil batil so long words which i have given, written the translation and you should not give any bribe to the judges to gain the uh, decision in your uh, favor this is what is happening in all the so- human societies but quran very clearly says that for a prof- in a professional ethics is a code of ethics that we should not give any bribe to the judges to get our gains economic gains and speak truth number 6 is and speak straight words and qulu qawlan sadida ya ayyuhal ladina amanu a people who believe qulu qawlan sadida yuslih lakum a'malakum is the the second part of this it means that whenever there is a kind of a it may be a business or any kind of economic activity or you are working as a laborer or you are working as a owner of a pers- of a property or any business we should always speak straight words correct and it should be full of truth and this does not mean that straight words means harsh words but it means that we should be the be clear in our 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 acts uh, our speech so this is also another important uh, principle for code of code for professional ethics number 7 is avoid most of suspicion for surely suspicion is some ya ayyuhal ladina amanu ijtanabu kathiran min azan you can read that translation here it is from surah al hujurat it says that you should not create a pile of or a heap of suspicions and make a sin for yourself that until and unless it means that if we don't get we are not sure about the the information which we are get, getting about a person individual or a group of people we should be be without checking or without having any uh, confirmation we should not say anything we should not utter any words and it will be considered as a sin or it will be punishable in the court of allah subhanahu wa taala and spy not nor let others of you back bite others it means that we should not speak something any kind of of a commitment or uh, saying of, at, when a person is not present is itane book kaseer minazan when a person is not present do not make any comments and if he is is if he is not present and if he is present you can you should as we have seen up here qulu qawlan sadida we should say something if you if there is is there is a necessity of that we should say this very openly and we should not say in a harsh word number 8 means and follow not that of which you thou hast not knowledge surely hearing and sight and heard of all it means that wala taqaf ma it means that ma laysa laka bihi ilm in inna sama wal basara wal fuada kullu ulaika kana anhu masula each and every part of the body our hearing our sighting looking and sighting means seeing the things and our heart all of these things are going to be be responsible and we accountable on the day of judgment before allah subhanahu wa taala this point also gives an idea in for the professional ethics as a code that we should be very much careful in doing all these activities in our life number 9 and help one another in the righteous and in and in piety and help not one another in any sin a very simple principle is given here uh, for the any kind of profession as a human being that we should make ta'awanu ala al-birr wa la ta'awanu ala al-birr wa taqwa wa la ta'awanu ala al-ism wa al-udwan you should help we should help each and everybody without knowing a person with any of any kind any any 
any person of any kind any religion any any color of skin any language we should any do help each other in any kind of of a, of a good deed so it's in other words simple words in any kind of a good deed if a person is doing any kind of a good deed we should help each other as an individual as a group as a community and as a nation the example of this can be taken as corona virus which disease which is taking all the world and the whole world is in a very serious problem number 10 and who whose affairs are decided by council among themselves wa amruhum shura it means that whenever in a professional part of the ethics is that whenever you want to make a decision especially this point is very important for management science and that is whenever we make any decision we should do by consultation by counseling among ourselves or the people or the friends or the our colleagues and we should take the decision this is all i have for you under this title and that is that the code of ethics which is been the title of the course was code of professional ethics in the shade of holy quran thank you very much for your time